Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about multi-level marketing, MLM businesses, okay? And the question here is, are MLMs a scam? Are they a Ponzi scheme? Are they a pyramid scheme? What is the deal with MLMs, okay? So there's a couple of different ways we're gonna tackle this. And we're gonna first need to kind of define what a Ponzi scheme or a pyramid scheme is. And then we're gonna look at MLMs and figure out whether or not they're legitimate businesses or are they pyramid or Ponzi schemes, okay? Now, I printed some notes here because I wanted to get the wording exact on this. This is straight from the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC. Pyramid scheme promises consumers or investors large profits based primarily on recruiting others to join their program, not based on profits from any real investment or real sale of goods to the public. So the pyramid scheme sets up a system where those who are making money are paid based on the recruitment of other individuals, not based on profits from any real investment or sale of goods to the public. So that's what Federal Trade Commission determines to be a pyramid scheme. All right, a Ponzi scheme. What is a Ponzi scheme? It's similar, but a little bit different. A Ponzi scheme is closely related because it revolves around continuous recruiting, same as the pyramid scheme. But in a Ponzi scheme, the promoter generally has no product. So in a pyramid scheme, there usually is a product, but your money is made from recruiting others, not from the actual sale of the product. But in a Ponzi scheme, there is no product uh, to sell, and it pays no commissions to investors who recruit new members. Instead, the promoter collects payments from the stream of people, promising them all a high rate of return on a short-term investment. In a typical Ponzi scheme, there is no real investment opportunity and the promoter just uses the money from the new recruits to pay the obligations to the other members in the program. So if you're part of a Ponzi scheme, you're going to be promised if you invest 5, 10, whatever you invest, if you invest, we can get you a 20% rate of return. We can get you a 50% rate of return on your investment and they'll show you what the investment is. They'll talk about what the investment is uh, and you'll invest your money. And then they're going to talk to other people or you're going to talk to other people and be like, man, they promised a 50% return. You can't get that anywhere else. And so what they're going to do in a Ponzi scheme is they're going to take the money from a new investor and they're going to say, OK, if you if I invested 5000 and you come in after me and invest 5000, they're going to take your five. They're going to give 2500 to me and 2500 to another person. So I'm going to get $2,500 back and think that that's return on my 5000 because they invested it well and I got a 50% return on that. But really what they're doing is they're taking new money to pay the returns on the investment of the old money. And you can see that if they don't keep the pipeline of new money coming in, the business crashes and fails. Uh, the most uh, notorious of this recently was Bernie Madoff. So with the pyramid scheme, it's very similar because you can't continue recruiting forever. You know, you hear, okay, you join this company, you recruit five others, and then they recruit five others. So you can see that in a pyramid scheme, if your payment is based on the recruitment of new people instead of the sale of product, that will eventually run its course and inevitably it will fail. All right, so what is multi-level marketing? Multi-level marketing, again, straight from the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC website, I'm gonna read what multi-level marketing is. Multi-level marketing companies sell their products or services through person-to-person -person sales. That means that you're selling directly to other people, uh, maybe from your home or a customer's home or online. If you join uh, an MLM program, the company may refer to you as an independent distributor, or pro uh, participant, or a contractor. Most MLMs say you can make money in two ways, by selling the product yourself to retail customers who are not involved in the MLM. That's pretty normal. I mean, that's what most uh, product businesses would make their money through is selling the actual product to people. The second way that most MLMs say you can make money is by recruiting new distributors and earning commissions based on what they buy and their sales to retail customers. So it wasn't uh, a fee or commission earned on recruiting the new sales uh, people, the new MLM members. It's actually a percentage of their sales down the line. So you're getting some of the commissions off of their sales as well. Your recruits, the people they recruit and so on, become your sales network or your downline is what they say a lot of times. So if the MLM is not a pyramid scheme, it will pay you based on your sales without 
having to recruit new distributors. Most people who join legitimate MLMs make little or no money. This is straight from Federal Trade Commission. Some of them lose money. In some cases, people believe they've joined a legitimate MLM, but it turns out to be an illegal pyramid scheme that steals everything they invest and leaves them deeply in debt. And real quick, a couple other things from the FTC. It's best not to get involved in plans where the money you make is based primarily on the number of distributors you recruit. Steer clear multi-level marketing plans that pay commissions for recruiting new distributors. They're actually illegal pyramid schemes. The promoters of a pyramid scheme may try to recruit you with pitches about what you'll earn. They may say you can change your life, quit your job, get rich by selling the company's products. That's a lie. Your income would be based mostly on how many people you recruit and how much product you sell. Pyramid schemes are set up to encourage everyone to keep recruiting people to keep a constant stream of new distributors and their money flowing into the business. Sometimes in a pyramid scheme, you'll be encouraged or even required to buy a certain amount of product uh, at regular intervals, even if you already have inventory that you haven't been able to use or sell. Let's look at this and, and break this down. All right. Are MLMs, pyramid schemes, Ponzi schemes, scams, whatever you want to say? Uh, the answer to that question is like a square and a rectangle. All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. Okay. So some... MLMs are pyramid schemes, but not all MLMs are pyramid schemes. So that's where it gets tricky. And even some legitimate MLMs have elements of a pyramid scheme. So the reason for that is, again, a pyramid scheme, you really, the focus is on recruiting new salespeople. Okay, it's on recruiting new members. You get paid by recruiting new members. You make your money that way, not primarily through the sale of the product. So even in a pyramid scheme, you have a product and you may earn some money on product sales, but the only way to be successful is really through recruiting new people. That's a pyramid scheme, not a legitimate MLM. The flip side of that is you may have an MLM where the majority of your money comes from selling the actual product, yet you still do get paid by recruiting new members, uh, either for the actual recruitment of them or a percentage of their sales as they start to sell to people. So it's just really where's the focus, okay? If you've got a legitimate business, if you're actually making money off of the sale of product, that's where the large majority of your money comes from. That's gonna be a legitimate multi-level marketing. It's gonna be a legitimate business, okay? So why do people have such issues with MLMs? You know, a lot of small businesses fail. The majority of people who open up their own business fail. Okay. And that's true for MLMs, but it's true at a ridiculously high rate. So, I mean, it's somewhere like 99.3 to 99.9% .9 of people who do MLMs don't make it to where it actually becomes a profitable business. Those odds are actually worse than playing the roulette uh, in Vegas. The, the thing that I actually, I mean, I see it a lot and this is, I think, why people start to have more of an issue with MLMs or this starts to resonate with them is to be frank with you, most of what I see posted on social media when it comes to these MLM companies, more frequently, the pitch is to the new MLM members. The pitch is you can stay, you can work from home, you can quit your job, you can make enough money to... Uh, finally do those things you wanted, financial freedom, uh, financial peace in your life if, if you become uh, part of this company. And I, I honestly, in my experience, which I'm one person, right? That's not anywhere near a scientific study. But in my experience, what I typically see are the stories about how you can be profitable and why you should join the company. I see that way more often than I actually see. Here's what the product is. Hear how how the here's why the product is great and why you should buy the product. So that sounds more like a Ponzi scheme. It does not mean that that even the post I'm seeing that those people are part of Ponzi schemes. It, it's just it's part of how they teach you to recruit new people because that's one way you make money. But there's a dangerous aspect there because if that's all it is. It is. It's a pyramid scheme because you cannot make money sustainably by recruiting new people. You want to make your money from the sale of a good quality product, uh, not from having to recruit other people. So that's the bottom line in this. No, 
not all MLMs are scams or pyramid schemes. You know, you need to do the research and, and vet it out and figure out how am I going to make money? Is the way I'm going to make money sustainable? Do I actually believe in this product? Uh, again, I, I hate the ones that just sell you on. This is my easy ticket to financial freedom uh, because money doesn't answer all your problems. No business is easy. I don't care how uh, much a franchise has said, this is exactly what you do to become profitable or an MLM has said, follow these steps and you'll make it um, because you won't. And I actually think that's why MLMs have a higher failure rate than just the typical going out on your own and starting a business. It's because people go into it thinking it's a guaranteed system and it ends up not working. I've said it multiple times, not all MLMs are pyramid schemes. Some are, lots of them have elements of pyramid schemes, but may not actually be. Make sure uh, that you're, you're able to make money off the sale of product. My name is Brad, I'm with Wooten CPA. My goal is to bring peace to your finance and tax responsibilities. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you're notified when new videos come out. Thank you for watching.